Hi there folks, it is T minus 40 hours until I take off for Japan. So this evening I'm going to go over our Japan checklist. The very first thing is our passport. Hopefully you've already got one of these and that's all that I need to say about that. The second item is the Japan Rail Pass. These are available in a 7 day pass, a 14 day pass, and a 21 day pass. You can only get them as a foreigner traveling to Japan. You need to order it before your trip and then you're going to go and pick up your pass at the airport when you arrive in Japan. Third thing you're going to want is a power bank. The larger the better. This is going to save you a lot when it comes to trying to recharge your phone and other devices on the go. And of course you're going to want Cables, all of the cables to recharge your phone, your camera, um, any other device you might be bringing with you, make sure you have the cables, and also that you have the plugs for said cables. You'll notice that I do not have a converter plug for Japan because Japan uses the same style plug as the US, but if you're traveling from somewhere other than the US, then be sure to bring a plug adapter. Also, you're gonna want some kind of headphones, Next, toiletries bag. Don't forget your toiletries bag. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you bring toothpaste, toothbrushes, floss, cologne, deodorant, these kinds of things. Make sure that you bring them in small bottles because if they're larger than two ounce bottles, they will get seized. Remember that. Also, you're probably gonna to wanna to make sure you bring your phone. When you get to Japan, be sure to get a local SIM card. Um, generally, a data only plan is what I would advise doing. Make sure you have access to the internet while you're there so you can look up what you're doing and how to do it. While we're on our phone, I strongly recommend you get a Learn Japanese with an exclamation part. And it's got this little character here with the blue background. This is an amazing app. It costs like $8 and it's the best educational value for $8 you're ever gonna get. In a matter of hours, if not days, you are going to learn every single character in both the hiragana and katakana alphabets, and you're gonna be learning words in Japanese at an alarmingly fast rate. Next, business cards. Be sure to bring your business cards if you're going to Japan. If you're doing any business along your trip, or if you're gonna be meeting anyone who is a professional peer, business card culture is a big deal in Japan. Don't leave your business cards at home. You're gonna want your checkbook with you in case of emergencies, as well as basic pen and stationery in case you wanna write something down. Also bringing a game with me in case you, know, you find downtime for that. Finally, when it gets to the actual clothing you're gonna to wanna to bring. I'm going in December, so I'm making sure to bring a hat and gloves and two jackets, an under puffy jacket and outer shell. This is a suitcase that will fit in the overhead compartment of any standard airplane and it has 12 pairs of socks, 12 pairs of underwear, six normal t-shirts, one set of pajamas, three undershirts, three dress shirts, and two pairs of shoes, and you can see that it still has room to spare. I'm also bringing my backpack, which is going to have my laptop, my charger, all of the things that we've just mentioned, and an additional two pairs of socks and underwear and shirts because you never know when you might find yourself separated from your luggage. I think that covers our bases in terms of everything we're gonna to want to bring to Japan. I guess we'll find out soon enough whether or not I will have forgotten anything. Hopefully these tips are helpful for you and stay tuned to follow along on this awesome adventure. It's gonna be fun. I wanna be